To solve this one, we got to get the ln by itself. So the first step is to divide the 3 off because it's multiplied by it. So divide both sides by 3. So I have ln 3x minus 1 equals 7. Now, I want to get this out of the ln. What you got to realize is ln is log base e. It helps to rewrite it because ln is log base e because you could see something better. Because if I want to change this to an exponent, if I want to change my log into an exponent, don't you cover the log? Write e, and then don't you switch these two? Again, to switch a log to an exponent, you cover the log or erase the log and switch the power with the answer. You can now solve what we have left. e to the seventh is a number. We don't need to calculate it on a benchmark. So we just add the 1 over. e to the seventh plus 1 equals 3x. And then divide by 3. So we have x equals e to the seventh plus 1 all over 3. Now, make sure that power is a power. Don't make it e7, e times 7. Make sure that's a power. I kind of made that a little too low. That's your answer. If you had a calculator, you could calculate that. Number two, I want to solve this. So I want to get e to the x by itself. So the first step, move the 7 over. That'd be 18. Next, you've got to get rid of the 6. That's held by multiply, so we divide 6 off. So we have e to the x equals 3. And how do we get rid of, how do you get the x out of the exponent? You make it into a log. So you write the word log. When you write log in front, the e becomes the base of the log, and we switch these two. When you switch those two, you get a 3 here, and you get x here. Now, don't leave your answer like that. What's log base e? It's ln. So your answer is ln 3 equals x, or x equals ln 3. Your answer is simply ln 3. Remember, log base e is ln, natural log. First step that makes a mistake here. So it's nice, it's all worked out for you. So let's look at this problem. In order to solve this, a plus in terms of logs <laughs> is a multiply. So from here to here, does that step work? Do we group the insides, and can I group them right here? Yeah. And did I change anything over here? No. So is that first step an OK step? Yes, that's perfectly fine. OK, so we're good. Check. We're good. OK, next. From here to here, what did we do? We basically dropped the LNs. Now, can you drop the LNs? You can, because look real quick. If this is LN something and this is LN something, for them to be equal, doesn't this in here have to equal 7 to equal this side? Doesn't what's in here have to equal 7? So can I just basically drop the LNs and try to make this equal to 7? Thus they'd be equal? Because again, if they're both LN, this inside of the LN has to equal the 7 here to make them equal. So this next step is actually perfectly fine. Next step. How do you get from here to here? Well, it looks like here we foiled. Didn't you foil? And then it looks like the 7 got moved over. So let's show the work on this one. So if we're going to do the work on this one, let's see, we foil. So this becomes x squared. This becomes 4x minus 2x minus 8 equals 7. Now, when you do that, you get uh, x squared plus 2x. And then if I minus this 7 over, do you get minus 15? Does this match this? So are we good still? Hey, OK. Well, we're looking like we're doing pretty good. All right, how do you get the answers from here? 
Don't you factor? You can use quadratic formula, but can't you factor this one? Negative 15 and 2? What are the sides going to be? Isn't that 5 and negative 3? So I have x plus 5, x minus 3 equals 0. So are my answers 5 and negative 3? No. That's a tricky one. Isn't this negative 5 and isn't this one 3? Isn't that making negative 5? Isn't that going to be a positive 3? And what do they say here? They're opposites. So where's my first mistake? Right there. Was this one almost right? This one is almost right. So you got to be careful. But my first mistake was right there.